Seems like we just did Hook of the Week, but here it is seven days later, and it's time for another Hook of the Week. So today I have two pieces of round bar, yeah, they're 5 16 3 8 somewhere in there. As with so many of these projects, this is just what I have on hand, you use what you have on hand, and they're about a foot long. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a square knot in these bars, and then I thought we would forge weld the ends to make some place to hang the hook as well as one end then becomes the hook. I hope this is an interesting approach on making a hook. I'm not sure what the square knot will look like. I've never done a square knot in iron before, so I thought this would be a good way to experiment with that technique and just see what it looks like and then get an idea for what other potential that might have for other projects. So let's go to the forge. Let's get this stuff hot and let's knot it up. I'm gonna start this just by putting a bend pretty much in the middle here. If you're a little bit off, you can pretty easily straighten these. And we may do a little trimming at the very end just to be sure everything is even. But that's really all I want to do for both of these as far as that bend goes. And then add just a little bit of an offset here. like that. I want to do that for both of them. This is really a pretty simple technique if I understand it correctly. So I've never done one before. We could get to the end of this and find out I got it completely wrong. But so far this looks like it's just what I envisioned in my mind. Hold on to both tails at the same time there. So that should be just as simple as inserting these. May need to, yeah, I'm going to have to bend those up just a little bit more. Of course, you can get that bend in your bending fork as well. That's about 45 degrees. Let's try that. Okay, let's see if this goes together a little bit better here. Which it's going to. So there's the square knot part. Super simple. Look at that, I'm still a good boy scout. I can tie a square knot. The problem with this is it doesn't really lock And stay put the way you might like it to. I'm going to put just a little bit of flux on there. Once you're sure the weld is stuck, you can be a little bit more aggressive.
letting the forge run during the welding operation so I can keep the heat up. It's real easy to lose welding heat inside the forge and it just takes way longer to recover that if I turn it off like I normally do for the videos. So for now we're just going to have to listen to the forge noise over the rest of the video and once we get the welds done we'll go back to turning it off so you can hear what I'm saying a little bit better. this back on itself to give more of a, a hanging area. That's going to take a lot of cleaning up with a file. should be all the forge welding steps. There's just a little bit of a ragged end on here I'm going to cut off. Now this hook is never going to pull up tight because of the way a square knot functions. In fact, if you were ever a Boy Scout, you remember that this is how you test to make sure it's a real square knot because you can push it apart like that. And whether you like that for a wall hook or not is hard to say. I'm hoping it's a conversation piece that way and not a problem. It does make it a little weird to work on because it's flopping around the whole time. I suppose you could put a tack weld in the back here if you wanted it to be perfectly stable, but I think that might detract from it. I think being loose might actually be more desirable in the end hook. So I'm going to put a little curl on the end of it like I so often do. And I think I'm going to cool most of that off so I don't distort it. And then 
and we can bend it in our bending fork we made the other day. This bending fork's a little bit big for this, really. But we can make it work. So that's the basic forging steps that I have in mind here. This pad needs to be cleaned up a fair amount. And it's going to need some straightening and that kind of stuff. I think it should all sit flat. The, the back of the hook and the knot and this top piece all need to sit flat against the wall. So there's going to be a little messing around to do there. And I think I'm going to let it cool. And then we will address shaping this in so we get it looking nicer. So I took a little bit of time there and I ground this and cleaned it up, put a couple of holes in it. And it is loose, but it's never going to come apart. The next problem is that it rocks on the back so it won't sit flat on the wall. So I need to push these back a little bit and I think I'll do that in the vise. I think we can do a very controlled squeeze and get that just where we want it. So I have some spacers here. And if this works out right, oh, I got a problem though. Unfortunately, this is going to squish the hook. So that's not going to work as well as I had hoped it would. So let's see if we can just use one side here. We can at least get one of these to lay down flat. That might actually get both sides okay. The, the hook end is behaving better. It's also got a little twist in it that I can fix at this point. I think we might be okay there. That's what we're after. Forge welding can leave a pretty rough finish, so a good wire brushing sure helps. Yeah, I think that's going to lay flat. Horse brush does a better job of getting the, the tough stuff off, but this finer brush gets down into the crevices a little better. So I'm going to use both. Well, that's just my take on a hook with a square knot in it. So something a little bit different, a little peculiar. Hopefully it uh, is a good conversation starter when it's hanging on the wall in your home. And probably lots of different ways you could interpret this. You could probably take the top and the bottom and roll them out to the sides and have two ears that you hang from and two hooks on the bottom. All sorts of different ideas you could probably do with this. I'd kind of wondered about this as a picket or some sort of a vertical member in a stair railing or gate, something like that. But since it slips, I just don't know if that would work very well. It would have to be solid if it's supporting weight and compression. If it was doing something in tension, like hanging a lamp or something like that, it would probably work just fine. But those are just random thoughts. Hopefully one of these days I'll get around to exploring the concept in a little bit more detail. In the meantime, I do hope you found the video interesting. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down there. Feel free to stick around, watch a few of the other videos, share the videos with your friends. If you'd like to provide financial support for the videos here at Black Bear Forge, there are links in the video description for both PayPal and Patreon. Those are merely donations. The content is free. In the meantime, I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, explore your creativity, use your imagination, see if you can come up with something you've never done before. But do it safely, wear your safety glasses, and we'll see you for the next one.